What a crowd we have here tonight in this double jeopardy match. Excalibur, why don't you explain to everyone what this is all about? Claudio Castagnoli, the Ring of Honor World Champion. Ray Fenix, one half of the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions. The winner of this match will get a shot at the other man's titles. If Ray Fenix wins, he'll get a Ring of Honor World Championship shot. If Ray Fenix wins, or excuse me, if Claudio wins, he and a partner will get a shot at the Lucha Brothers Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championship. A high stakes matchup, Taz. Yeah, no doubt. Double jeopardy it says it all right here, but obviously Phoenix giving up a plethora of size. But Phoenix is super quick, very resilient too, and there's the athleticism of Ray Phoenix. I don't, I don't know. I'm sorry, Scott. If there's anyone top to bottom as stronger than Claudio, I know we got some power man, but he's strong from the from the feet up, man. Look at it. He certainly is, but he's also extremely agile, ducking that reverse kick by Ray Phoenix, and we are. We have a massive night of action coming to you live from Detroit here on Dynamite. A pay-per-view on free TV. We will hear from FTR, the AEW World Tag Team Champions, after they got called out by Jay Lethal. And Jeff Jarrett, Orange Cassidy, looks to defend the AEW International Championship against Daniel Garcia of the Jericho Appreciation Society. We'll hear from Christian Cage after he called out Wardlow. The TNT Championship, Anna J, Julia Hart, no holds barred wow. here tonight. The House of Black will put the AEW World Trios Championship on the line. Open house rules match against Bandito and the best friends, plus the main event, steel cage match. John Moxley, Kenny Omega, one on one. This is a loaded, as you said, pay-per-view quality broadcast for Shiro Shabani. Loaded top to bottom. Love loaded, love top to bottom. I'm telling you this, at right so far, Claudio has done a great job of grounding Ray Phoenix, but Ray's still trying to go up top. Look, he went across, you know he wanted to find the turnbuckles. There he goes. Yeah, he's got, he's got Claudio rocked a bit. Now a little springboard action. What's he going to do here? What the hell? Wow. And Phoenix diving. Look, around and lands on his feet. Claudio Castagnoli taking out of the ring. Phoenix oh, building up momentum. Phoenix. Again. Looking for the second. Claudio getting bounced around by one half of the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions. That's exactly what Ray needs to do. Oh, no. He's not done. Phoenix looking for the trifecta. No, oh, Claudio. Oh, oh. You know what? I. I the power, oh, the anticipation, Tony. I knew this was going to too many times, guys. It's easy to say it now, looking back on it. But really, third time, Claudio was just, just waiting for him there, Taz. Let's take a look. Yeah, you're right, Shabani. Watch the strength. This in midair, almost catching like a press slam. Wow. Insane power. And watch this. Right across the guardrail. Midsection, part of his quad hit, everything. Claudio on the outside. Oh, God. Delayed. 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 Vertical suplex. He's climbing the steps with Phoenix. Pounding down with those knees. And then Claudio deposits Phoenix on the outside. I think Claudio may have gotten a bit rocked. Yeah, well, definitely, Ray Phoenix definitely counted it. Yeah, I think on, on the way down, Phoenix pulled Claudio's face into the top of the barricade. Caught him with a couple shots there. Now Phoenix on the barricade. Claudio. Claudio has oh Phoenix. Oh, my God. The Hornet got run up off the barricade. Ray Phoenix is unreal. No one has ever walked the top of the barricade that I've ever seen. Have you, Taz, like that? I, I, I have seen it, but never okay. like that. I have, right. Yeah, but that was amazing. Phoenix is just unbelievable. <laughs> Insanely athletic. It just takes major risks. Yeah. Ray Phoenix, his brother, Penta El Zero Meadow, the Lucha Brothers, the 65th Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions. They won the title. Who reached for the Sky Ladder Match at Ring of Honor Supercard of Honor in March. Their lone defense of the title came at Battle of the Belt Six, where they defeated QT Marshall Powerhouse Hobbs. That really amped up the rivalry between the Lucha Brothers, QT Marshall Powerhouse Hobbs, Taz. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. It definitely did. But I want to point this out. This show right now, Dynamite, is about, about four, maybe five minutes old. <laughs> and look at all the action that just went down wow. in four minutes. You want to talk about action? We are headed to London coming up this August 27th. Over 60,000 tickets already sold, but great seats still available. You have a chance to join us when we make our debut in London. Claudio Castagnoli there. The cover to no. Ticketmaster.co.uk. Live Mention.co.uk. Right there, that was, and you see right there, members of the Blackpool Combat Club, Daniel Sin and Real Yuta watching on in support of their guy. Castagnoli. Understandably, John Moxley not with them, Tony. He's preparing for this main event steel cage match against Kenny Omega. Yeah, this is a big night for the Blackpool Combat Club. From top to bottom, from the opening match to the end. Yeah. Big night for it. BCC with a chance to bookend this oh, historic God. dynamite from Detroit. But Ray Phoenix getting down to the apron. But still on the outside, but maybe not for long. Claudio, a couple shots to the midsection, stopping Phoenix. Oh, Phoenix comes back. Oh, and a hook right off the ropes. And I'll tell you, Ray has been one step ahead of Claudio the bulk of this match. He certainly has. And now the cover, lateral press. Claudio firing those legs up, escaping it. The pinfall attempt in this double jeopardy match to kick off Dynamite. It looked like that Claudio was going to try to really gorilla press him, slam. Press the slam. Phoenix from the top of Phoenix Kennedy. Nice look. You see the bottom of the screen. He had to. Sorry, sorry. That's Shop AEW.com, Spring 23. Sale going on right now, but Claudio Castagnoli counters the oh. cover red and then comes back with a lariat. Claudio immediately dropped into a cover. And ooh, very, very close. Taz, I think Claudio going right for a cover speaks to the danger that Claudio may be sensing from, from Ray, Ray Phoenix. I agree with your observation. You're correct. That's exactly what it is. He realizes, Claudio realizes, and he don't want to deal with Phoenix in victory in this match. If he gets a victory, as we've been pointing out, he gets a shot at Claudio's Ring of Honor World title. Well, we've been saying so much about Claudio, how great a shape that he is in. He's amazing. But you can see the, how, how he was, had labor breathing. That's just shows, whoa! How crazy this match has been in a few short minutes. Claudio sending Ray Phoenix far over the barricade. Can Phoenix beat the count? We will keep you with all of the action. Picture, picture, don't go anywhere. Well, we had to send a security guy out there to check on Ray, who's still down out there. Yeah, the onus is on Phoenix now. If he can't beat the count, hey, he threw him so far, he almost hit Lansing. <laughs> 
for the people in the UK, that's not a part of our mission. Right. Stay capital, Michigan. Stay capital, yeah. <laughs> Take another look at Claudio. And not just the power to keep Fenix elevated, but the power to throw him five, six rows back here in this arena. He just kept rolling the momentum. <laughs> Now, Fenix, he, he did beat the count, rolled underneath. So the count resets, but Claudio Castagnoli putting the boots to Ray Fenix, keeping him on the outside. And man, if you're the Lucha Brothers, the, the possible combinations, if Fenix loses this match, of people to challenge for the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championship, Claudio Castagnoli, he could pick Brian Danielson, he could pick, pick Wheeler Yuta, he could pick John Moxley. Those are dangerous matchups, each in their own unique way, Taz. Absolutely, yeah, the configurations of the way you just broke them all down, all very dangerous for the Lucha Bros. Oh, oh, press, far like hook, but likewise, Claudio Castagnoli, a loss here to Ray Fenix. Tony, if, if Fenix pulls off this victory, he would have a huge mental advantage on the Ring of Honor World Champion in their world, in the upcoming World Title Match. There is no question if you have lost to a competitor and you got to go against him again, it really has to grade on your psyche, on your confidence. Now, we know that Claudio's had some great matches in the past, but I do believe this is the first time that Claudio and Fenix have ever faced each other one-on-one -on -one in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Claudio with the body scissors locked in, doing the smart thing, Round rounding Ray Fenix. Yeah, Taz. Yeah, that's exactly right. Got the legs in a little bit, and that rear chin. Now you see Ray trying to fight out with both hands, punching Claudio about the head. Fenix doing a good job of getting back up to, his, of getting his feet flat on the mat, and now landed overhand shot. Not sure you want to get to a firefight with Claudio Castagnoli, but Fenix! He just read my mind, I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> Fenix stunned him, now hits the rough. Claudio decked him! Covers! We are back live on TBS AEW time by Claudio Castagnoli. Ray Fenix, the double Jeopardy match. Claudio, the Ring of Honor World Champion. Fenix, one half of the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions. The winner gets a shot at the other man's title. Take a look at this crowd that we have. You saw it right as we came back from the break. We are at Little Caesars Arena. We are at the home of the Pistons and the Red Wings. And we've got a jam-packed crowd here tonight. And don't miss AEW Rampage coming your way. Special date and time. This coming Saturday, 10, 9 Central on TNT. Claudio Castagnoli, the oh. gut wrench off the ropes. Oh, that's raw power. Claudio covers. Partly is hooked in. Phoenix barely kicking out. And throughout the break, we saw that Claudio tried to ground Ray Phoenix, which is smart. But now he's just bopping him around and bumping him around the ring, which is doubly smart. Let's watch this gut wrench as we just saw off the ropes here at the second top rope, I should say. Claudio Castagnoli, the 38th Ring of Honor World Champion, having won the title last December, defeated Chris Jericho, made seven successful defenses of the title. His most notable defense coming against Eddie Kingston, Ring of Honor Supercard of Honor in March. And speaking of Kingston, Eddie underwent successful hernia surgery yesterday. I'd like to wish him a speedy recovery. Can't wait to see him back in the ring. But now, eyes back on this match. Eyes back on this firefighter erupting in the center of the ring. Phoenix goes through the ropes, what kick misses, the thrust kick lands! Ah oh, man, he'll tell you what, he brought it, he had to, what a shot! Great timing, because Claudio had ducked out of the way of the spin kick that time, but he caught it, flush! And that's just a glancing blow off the chin. But still, a glancing blow from Ray Phoenix, enough to stun <laughs> even the Ring of Honor World Champion, but that stunner, that cutter, landed flush! There's the opportunity, got the cover! Two, and not a great cover, and I think that's what allowed Claudio yeah. to kick out with such ease. Well, we're in the Motor City, and you see members of the BCC watching on again, Danielson and Wheeler Yuta, to see what happens here, but we're in the Motor City, and uh... <laughs> Both these guys are emptying their tanks, man. Unintended. You get it the whole race car? Yeah, no, that was a very flavored yeah, yeah. analogy, but, you know, I respect oh, wow. you for trying. I thought it was a great analogy, and I just don't want to get hit by tanks. Oh, no, 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 insane, that moonsault. Just like your analogy. I'm telling you. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, no. Kind of. Okay. What a moonsault. What a match. And, you know, the fact that we saw members of the BCC watching, like he says, Dad, I think as much as anything else, that, I don't know if they'll get involved or not. But they're around, right? Yeah, yeah you never know, but, right? Yeah, the Blackpool Combat Club, they've been terrorizing AEW, yeah. but more specifically, the Elite. Anybody associated with the Elite as of late, Claudio, the anti-air, the cover, Fenix, fired that shoulder up, and Claudio immediately hoist them up. Maybe they can recall a bomb. Fenix, go, oh. Ray, what a counter! No. Woo, that was so, so close. Ray thought he had it. I thought he had it, and that was extremely close. Man, that's Claudio's power almost working against him there. He hoisted up. Ray Fenix with such vigor that Fenix is able to counter, and don't miss the newest episode of AEW All Access coming up tonight, 10 9 Central, right here on TBS, immediately following our broadcast on Dynamite. Swing and a miss by Claudio Castagnoli. Fenix, the thrust kick, he took Claudio off to the gate. Get him. The cover. Oh, so, so close. Again, if you're just joining us, this is double jeopardy. Okay, so basically, if Phoenix would have won this match right here, he would get an opportunity at the Ring of Honor World Championship held by Claudio. And likewise, Claudio Castagnoli wins this match. He and a partner of his choosing will get a shot at the Lucha Brothers Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championship. Double jeopardy to kick us off. And don't forget, in our main event, oh, the steel cage match, John Moxley of the Blackpool Combat Club, Kenny Omega of the Elite, one-on-one, -on -one. Mm. Claudio Castro, oh, oh, up a Mary Lauder slide, one, two, oh! Great toughness by Ray Fenix, but Claudio now, the hammer and anvil elbows, you can tell by Fenix's posture, he is wilting under this pressure. Oh, God, yeah, look, he's rocking his jaw as well. And now the arms crisscross, he's got, him, he's got, him, he's got him. one, two, three! And we know this match. The Ring of Honor World Champion, Claudio Castagnoli. Outstanding battle right there to kick this show off. Wow, that was something.